Marvel's Thor Love and Thunder is now available to buy on physical home media thanks to Disney and Marvel Studios. And in this video, I'll be taking a look at Best Buy's 4K Steelbook Edition. I'll leave affiliate links down below in the comments if you'd like to pick any of the standard releases up from Amazon. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks to Disney for sending over this copy of Thor Love and Thunder on 4K. I'm not a huge steelbook collector these days, but will always jump at one that makes use of great artwork. Thankfully, in the case of Love and Thunder, this steel utilizes a couple of terrific pieces of concept poster artwork. Thor adorns the front cover, while Jane, the mighty Thor, is pictured on the back. This is a pretty standard steel that has a matte finish with no metallic or shimmer effects and very minimal embossing on the framing elements and characters but I think it does work very well. It does also come with a gorgeously designed J card with all the info on the film that you would need. If this movie has one thing going for it, it's the promotional artwork. As with all the Marvel movies, this one comes with a 4K disc and a Blu-ray disc and the steel presents them with disc art. There is a digital code in here as well. Underneath the discs, another fantastic piece of concept art of the Thors and their crew is also presented. Overall, I'm very, very happy with the presentation of this set. Thor Love and Thunder was my most anticipated film of the MCU's fourth phase. I also found it to be the most disappointing. Unfortunately, this is a movie that had so much to offer but undelivered wildly. As someone who loved Ragnarok, I unfortunately found the hammy, heightened comedy to be used too frivolously here, sorely undercutting every dramatic moment and story beat. Characters are dulled and dumbed down to the point of caricature, and the narrative struggles greatly from it. A the bizarre ending also undercuts all the emotional weight from what should have been a deeply moving picture. This isn't my least favourite Marvel film ever, but it gets very, very close. Regardless, Thor Love and Thunder has been given a stellar 4K ultra high definition transfer. Again, the film has one thing going for it, and that's visuals. With a native 4K filmic process, the film shapes up to be one of the crispest and sharpest we've ever had from an MCU flick, completely besting the HD Blu-ray presentation. Of course, the film's HDR pass is enormously welcome here as well. This is a bright, punchy and vivacious movie, with the HDR giving everything an extra vibrancy and burst. This is quite possibly one of the best looking superhero flicks on the format. The movie can be found currently on Disney Plus in 4K. However, as per usual, the physical disc trumps the version found on streaming. It is worth noting, however, that the Disney Plus version does offer the ability to view the film in its IMAX enhanced version version, which sees portions of the movie in the expanded aspect ratio. Of course, this option is once again not available on disc, pushing the consumer towards streaming for the most definitive and immersive version of the film. As far as special features go, we've unfortunately been given yet another lackluster release, with Marvel bonuses taking the biggest hit from the gradually reduced offerings we've been getting recently. The film is complemented with three short featurettes, which clock in at around 20 minutes all up, the standard offering now. There's an 8 minute piece exploring Taika Waititi's work style, focusing on his affinity for visual flair and his emphasis on blending heart and humour in his storytelling. There's a 6 minute piece which gives a fairly surface level look at Christian Bale's Gore the God Butcher, touching on the comic inspirations and giving Bale a chance to discuss his own process of building the character. And likewise we get a very similar 6 minute piece focusing on the two Thors and explored how the film juggled the two characters and managed to bring Natalie Paul Portman back into the fold as Jane Foster. Again, the reason behind such a small offering here is Disney+, Plus, whose current Marvel Studios Assembled series is the go-to place for expansive Marvel docos, with the recently released Love and Thunder installment running at an entire hour. Again, the loss of these kinds of on-disc features is huge. The disc does, however, offer a few exclusive bonuses that can't be found on streaming, including a generous 8-minute selection of deleted scenes, featuring a couple of new sequences with the Guardians of the Galaxy and a lengthy one with Russell Crowe's Zeus. There's also the traditional three minute gag reel, which expectedly is more zany and hilarious than normal. There's also an incredibly fun and not so serious audio commentary with director Waititi here as well. Always a huge bonus. Overall, Thor does come recommended on home media, even if to simply continue your MCU physical collection and show Disney that there is still a market for these releases despite their stripped back nature. If I'm 
Climax Enhanced, Full Ratio and Lack of Expansive Bonuses doesn't bother you too much, you'll still be impressed by the gorgeous film presentation, even if you're not entirely impressed by the film itself. At that, I want to know your thoughts on Love and Thunder and if you're excited to get your hands on the physical disc. If you'd like to hear me talk more Thor, don't forget to check out my Evolution video on the character and his 60 year history linked on your screen.